614 now on this uh, Tuesday. More than 90% of Americans own one of these, a cell phone. Many people use them to take pictures of their food or make phone calls when they're dining out. But some restaurants are fed up with the disruption, disruptions and they're asking to ban them. They're asking customers not to use them at the table and they're even rewarding diners who ditch their phones. Kenneth Gregg reports from New York. When this New York City restaurant opened to diners, its owner envisioned a place where guests could not only enjoy a good meal, they could connect in conversation. But over the years, hearth chef Marco Canora noticed something very different happening. No one was communicating and it was infuriating to me. Like I just couldn't believe how extensive and how awful it had gotten. They're not doing this, you know, they're like doing this. And, the, and families aren't talking and first dates aren't talking. His solution is subtle but effective. These old boxes on each table that say open me. They see it, they open it, and then there's another note here that says, you know, we'd like to invite you to unplug during your meal at hearth. Feel free to use this box to put your phone away and connect with your fellow diners. It was an easy sell for Chris Sampson and his friends who all tried it for the first time. I love it. I really love it. I mean, sometimes if I go to a restaurant and the cell service doesn't work, I'm secretly happy about that. At this sushi restaurant in New Jersey, every Tuesday night, customers are invited to do the same. Instead of a box, there's a champagne bucket, and diners are rewarded with the 20% discount if they check in on social media, then make it through their meal without their phones. It's liberating, you know, in, in a lot of ways, that you're not thinking about it, you're not worrying about it, you're just sort of having a meal and talking to the people next to you. Manager Stacy Orienti says most of the reaction has been positive. Really the only push that back that we've seen that people are afraid that they couldn't do it and didn't want to be called out because of it. Have you had guests actually say, I can't do this? Oh yeah, yeah, we've had uh, parties argue playfully, but you know, <laughs> not like a legitimate argument, but they've argued like, well, what do you mean you can't do it? No, I'm expecting a work call or I'm expecting this or expecting that. A recent study found U.S. adults will spend on average three and a half hours a day on mobile devices this year. Other restaurants around the globe have rolled out their own cell phone policies, from limiting photography to instituting full bans. Cell phones have been a blessing and a curse for restaurants. Which is why Bon Appetit deputy editor Julia Kramer says she isn't surprised some restaurants are taking action. Restaurants have benefited greatly from how obsessed people are with taking photos of their food. But there's a flip side of that, and maybe it's a backlash as well, which is that this type of behavior is also very disruptive. Back at Hearth, not everyone participates, and they don't have to. It's not a rule. It's not a policy. Nope. It's not a rule, it's not a policy. It's just kind of like, listen, we all can acknowledge that these things are addictive and we're tethered to them all day. And if you like the idea of putting your phone away and being present with the person you're having dinner, by all means, use the box that's on the table. And it's just there as a little subtle, you know, statement to say, maybe you want to consider doing that. Serving up a digital detox one meal at a time. Kenneth Craig, CBS News, New York. Again, that's New York. Now, there is no doubt cell phones shape our daily routines, how we work, play, communicate with friends, family, social media acquaintances. But sometimes it does get out of hand. And